Hi, I'm Kirsten Dunst, and this is my career in four minutes. You know what's interesting? I actually had a conversation with Ronan Farrow recently. I met him, and I was like, tell your mom hi. I, was, I played her daughter when I was little in a movie, and so we chatted about that, but I just remember being Mia being really sweet to me, and that's kind of, kind of it. Those gentlemen treated me like a princess. I was, you know, they took such good care of me, they were so kind to me, and Brad was kind of like an older brother, and you know, we shot that film for a very long time, and part of it at Pinewood Studios, and it was around Christmas time, and like, Tom put a huge Christmas tree in my room where we got ready, and, and still to this day, he'll send me a cake every Christmas, so I have only good memories from that film. Robin, again, was lovely, and I loved Bonnie Hunt on that. I mean, I, I was a good group, again, I actually remember being in a water tank for like two weeks of like dirty water overnight and my mom like sending out on raft sandwiches because <laughs> we were just soaking wet for two weeks in this huge water tank. Sophia gave me kind of, a, gave me the opportunity in my career that, that helped transition from a child to more of an adult actress I think. It's that age where you're coming into your own womanhood and, and so she gave that to me in a way that I felt safe and protected. And it was her first film too, and so we'll always have that bond, and I think we'll, I'm sure, do another film together one day. Sophia's always had a really true um, sense of, of who she is and what she wants, and I think that's why she could direct at such a young age such great work. I read the script and I, I had I been a cheerleader? No, mm, I think I, I was a cheerleader, cheerleader in eighth grade, but I forgot if I, did it before or after, I think after. But um, it really was t Peyton Reed talking to the director that convinced me to do the film because he was so smart and had a great idea of how to do it where it just wouldn't be like a silly movie that no one cares about. Like he, he had such smart ideas about it that that um, we had a really good time and, and that's why I agreed to do it, yeah. Well, I first saw it by myself, so I can't remember the first, I think the first time I saw it with an audience, I, I can never tell what a movie's like when I'm in it. And that one, I'm not in it so much, so I could see that it was a really powerful piece of work. But um, it, it, the audience, when I saw it, were, were really moved and blown away by it, so I didn't, I couldn't see it as, as, as much for what it was um, as other people did, I guess. Such fond memories from making them to promoting them, and we got to travel the world, and, and that was, the, the, we had, you know, everyone was with us, your makeup, my mom was there. It was just like having a vacation. We worked hard too, but it's just, it, it, yeah, it's special when you get to travel the world with everybody. And we did it three times and, and yeah, it was like coming back to, to family every time for me. And I actually was a little scared when it ended because, you know, now it's, it was just an open field. Like you can do whatever you want now and you don't ever have that safety net to go back to, which was really nice to have. I worked very hard on the script and then um, Lars is someone who is, I, I think it's the most freedom I've ever had working with Lars. And um, he creates such an intimacy and I felt so honest with him and his ideas are so, he's so in tune with what's happening in the scene and so in tune with you emotionally as an actor that he knows how to communicate better than anyone else. It was so well written and a period film and Vigo was attached and I adore Vigo's work and I've always respected him and you know as an actor all, all you want to do is make movies with other great actors that you admire and Haas is such a talented writer I knew that it would be a, a classy film and be something where I could learn from and have a good experience. I just did a movie with Jeff Nichols. He did Mud and Take Shelter, and this is called Midnight Special, and it's with Joel Edgerton and Michael Shannon, and it's it's cool. It's kind of like, it reminds me a little bit of Close Encounters of the Third Kind, a little, but you'll see, it, it, and I play a very, yeah, you'll see, it, it was fun though.